Hello and welcome back, fabulous people. It's me again here with another mind-blowing episode of My Therapy Room. Today we're diving deep into the intriguing world of lying and its connections to manipulation and social bullying. So grab your favourite snack, get cosy, and let's get this psychological roller coaster rolling. Now we all know lying is as old as time itself. From little white lies to big whoppers, it's something we've all encountered in our lives. But have you ever wondered why people lie? Well, well, my friends, it's time to explore the psychology behind this sneaky behaviour. First things first, let's talk about manipulation. When someone lies, they're often trying to manipulate a situation or person to their advantage. It's like they've got a secret weapon in their arsenal, using deception to control the narrative and get what they want. But beware, my peeps, because manipulation can lead to social bullying if left unchecked. So what exactly is pathological lying, you ask? Well, it's like regular lying on steroids. Pathological liars spin tales so elaborate and fantastical that they could give Hollywood screenwriters a run for their money. These folks are like professional storytellers, crafting intricate narratives that often have no basis in reality. Now let's dive into the psychology behind pathological lying. Why do people engage in this extreme form of deception? Well, my fellow detectives, there could be several reasons. For some, it's a way to gain attention and admiration. They want to be the centre of the universe, and their lies become a means to achieve that. Others may lie to avoid negative consequences or to maintain a certain image. It's like they're living in a house of cards, carefully constructing a facade to protect themselves from the truth. But here's the kicker, my friend. Pathological liars often believe their own lies. It's like they've created their own alternate reality and they're the star of the show. Now let's talk about the difference between normal lying and pathological lying. We all tell lies from time to time, right? It's a part of human nature. But the key difference lies in the frequency and intention behind the lies. Normal liars might tell a fib to avoid hurting someone's feelings or to maintain social harmony. It's usually a small, isolated incident. On the other hand, pathological liars lie compulsively and without remorse. They spin webs of deception without any apparent reason, sometimes even when the truth would serve them better. It's like they're addicted to lying, unable to break free from the grip it has on their lives. So how do we navigate this labyrinth of lies? My fabulous listeners, it starts with understanding and compassion. Pathological lying is often a symptom of underlying psychological issues, such as low self-esteem or a need for validation. By approaching these individuals with empathy, we can create an environment that encourages honesty and self-reflection. And if you suspect someone in your life may be a pathological liar, it's important to set boundaries and protect yourself. Recognize that you can't change someone else's behavior, but you can control your own reactions and choices. So, what are the key traits to look out for? Well, my fellow detectives, keep your eyes peeled for a few telltale signs. First, there's the art of storytelling. Liars tend to weave elaborate tales like they're writing the next best-selling novel. They'll sprinkle in just enough truth to make it believable, but there's usually a twist or two lurking beneath the surface. Next up, we've got the master of disguised body language. Pay close attention to those subtle cues. Liars may fidget, avoid eye contact, or even put on an Oscar-worthy performance of innocence. It's like a game of charades, and we're the detectives trying to crack the code. But my friends, let's not forget about the psychology behind lying. It's not always about malicious intent. Sometimes people lie as a defence mechanism to protect themselves or avoid confrontation. It's like they're trying to build a fortress around their vulnerability, keeping the truth at bay. So how do we navigate this tricky web of lies and manipulation? Well, my fabulous listeners, it starts with awareness and communication. If you suspect someone is lying, approach the situation with empathy and curiosity. Ask open-ended questions and listen attentively. Sometimes the truth reveals itself when we create a safe space for honesty. Pathological lying is often a symptom of underlying psychological issues, such as low self-esteem or a need for validation. By approaching these individuals with empathy, we can create an environment that encourages honesty and self-reflection. And if you suspect someone in your life may be a pathological liar, it's important to set boundaries and protect yourself. Recognise that you can't change someone else's behaviour, 
but you can control your own reactions and choices. Surround yourself with a support system that uplifts and empowers you, my friends. All right, my lovely listeners, that's a wrap for today's mind-bending episode. Remember, lying may be tempting, but the truth will always set you free. Stay aware, embrace empathy, and let's navigate the world of pathological lying together. Until next time, keep those minds sharp and those hearts open.